place. This water wheel and this dam here specifically, this place was built in 1920s or 1930s, but it used to have another dam here in the 1800s. This was a mill and this water wheel specifically is really old. And they, they, uh, it used to be made out of wood and they rebuilt it into a metal one and you know you can see it's it's not in the best of shape so let's get a closer look at it so you can see here we've got you know plant life growing inside of it this thing was running in the 1990s and basically you just you can see it's got scoops and it's all full of dirt I mean, all the way up, it's full of plant life and dirt, and uh, so we've got this chamber that's going to be uh, dumping its majority of water. It goes, it drains directly down through right there, and then it'll go through this direction over here. So you'll see it goes through in that direction. That's where all the dump water actually drains out. You can see there's, this place needs a little bit of tender loving care, needs just a little bit of taken care of. But you see it's a big water wheel and we've got a big dam behind it. So, this is a pretty good sized project. It's gonna go, move forward and improve the environment. And here, we have the massive gears that attach to this thing. So basically we're looking at uh, a humongous weight that's a huge weight in fact I think that one's made out of wood on the outside but still on the inside and then here's the flywheel um, it's not in place no more you see where the gear the bearings are supposed to be and you can see where it's at it's out of the bearing and well, let me tell you this thing is huge so there's our gear that runs this thing. Um, it used to run a motor, and I'll show you that here in a bit. And that electric motor had been running another mill at uh, quite a bit of ways away from here. But here's another gear that I'll show you. So here's another gear that's just laying there. This is what the belt used to attach to. And this place is, is a sawmill. They had the belt run through the roof right up here. The belt would go through the roof and, and, on, and attach to a saw at this point. This used to have a big saw. And uh, not anymore, but you can see we've got uh, vandalizers. People's vandalizing the property. Wimp biscuit and corn. That's probably been there for many years. So you can see what kind of a project we got in front of us if we do get the chance to get this thing running. It'll be a historic site. This place has been non-operational for about 20 years. And the equipment is very old. It's, uh, it's about 90 years old, these gears and stuff, about 90 year old gears. So we'll have to come up with a way to uh, 
put these bearings back together. I probably have to make some clasps. You can see down here, there's no clasps for this bearing here. The bearing over there, I'm not sure. We'll have to get a closer look at it. Do you know heavy duty, you know, maintenance. There's a clasp missing outside. Might have to make another clasp for that. It'll take a smith. So that'd be pretty fun. But you know, this is a project. Uh, I've got permission to help improve this property. And uh, let's go take a look at the electric motor this thing used to run. So here's the electric motor this thing that uh, thing was running. You can see it's got three V-band belts on the shaft. And you know this thing was a monster. So in the perspective, this thing was an awesome, awesome motor. Uh, Let's get a zoom in. This thing uh, is probably time to be rewound and new brushes, stuff like that. This thing's really old. Definitely probably need new brushes and stuff like that. But uh, in perspective, here is my hand, and this is one big motor. Uh, I see two power wires, probably number four. See, that's probably number two watt wire coming out of the, the motor itself. So, you know, you got a two walk wire or so. And my hands ain't small, they're a pretty good sized hand. It's almost as thick as my finger. So, and I don't think the shaft will turn. It looked like it moved just a hair, but. You now, hey, for the age of this device, Because this thing, this motor ran a mill. This specific motor ran a separate mill besides the one that was here. Because wood was hard to get shipped in over here, so they'd float it down the river, the creek here. You can see this creek. They'd float it down the creek and they'd lift it out of the water right here and bring it over and they'd cut it on the saw. So they'd float the, the wood down the creek and over here they would collect it and then from here they would bring it straight into the front of this mill which went through this hole here. You know that hole there and uh, that's how they was bringing in the wood. They'd bring it over and then bring it straight over here. But isn't that a beautiful sight? This place is going to get cleaned up. Let me tell you, we're going to get this place cleaned up a lot. So, let's take a closer look at over above the water wheel.
Hello ladies and gentlemen, thanks for watching all the way to the end of the video. There's lots more content coming. Click the subscribe button below. Make sure you come back for more because there's great content always coming up every day in this channel. See you next time. Peace.